Now that we've discussed the fundamental concepts for errors, let's explore some error handling techniques that can be employed in Boomi. There are several validation techniques that can be utilized to help us avoid errors. You can use the decision shape to route documents based on comparative values for a single element. The business rules shape works with the profile structure of the document and allows rules to determine acceptance and rejection of documents. For batch documents with multiple records, the business rules shape iterates through the whole document to accept or reject each logical record based on the rules. The cleanse shape enables you to evaluate document field values to determine whether to repair or reject the document before further processing. This table provides a quick reference guide to some of the characteristics of the different validation options and the scenarios in which they can be useful. Next, we'll look at the error handling techniques provided by the exception and notify shapes. As we saw in the demonstration, the exception shape can be used to terminate the data flow down a path. It can define custom error messages in process reporting and in email alerts, and it's often used with the route or decision shape when a document does not meet specific criteria. The custom error message in the exception shape can be a mixture of static or dynamic content that's populated using parameters. And these parameters can be data elements from the document, the system date time, static values, or results from a query. Here are the exception properties that can be configured. The stop single document option. If this checkbox is checked, then the exception will only stop specific documents. But if it's unchecked, the exception shape will throw a process level error and stop all documents and the process. This is where you have a combination of static and dynamic data to create custom error message. And you can use parameters defined by numbers and curly brackets to reference dynamic data. The notify shape enables you to build custom execution logs or to send customized messages via email alerts or through an RSS feed. These notification messages can be static or include dynamic content from input parameters. The notify creates one or more notifications per document for each process execution. Data can be aggregated into a single message and then sent to the user's email or RSS feed after process completion. The notify shape is meant to be used in line within a process. It does not alter documents or data that flow through the notify shape. And it is designed to read in any relevant document fields or properties, then pass the document along to the next shape for further processing. The notify properties that can be set first, set the message level information, enable events, makes the notify visible in the account event log. Enable user log will write the notify message to the local Atom file. When checked, the write once per execution will batch the notify messages into one message. The message body can be made of static and dynamic content. And the parameters indicate, uh, indicated with curly brackets are used to incorporate dynamic data into the message. Another error handling technique involves connectors. Some connectors can send responses back into the process, and that allows us to handle exceptions gracefully. 
the connectors will return errors instead of fail, which is an alternative to the try-catch shape. Click the return application error responses to get the response from the connector. In this example, we're using the application error response from the Salesforce connectors and a decision shape to route to either a stop shape or a notify shape. The decision is evaluating the application status code of each individual connector's response will vary, so we want to check the documentation when designing. Another error handling technique is retry. Different types of retry include the retry in the try catch shape, a process retry schedule, manual document retry in process reporting, where you can use the original document, and also process design for retry. Some things to consider with a retry. Remember that during a retry, process documents have not changed, so it will not cure many types of errors. Retry can work to remedy intermittent connectivity or availability errors in a connector and lockups in a target system.